Hello fellas and welcome to another video. So I want to talk a little bit about three of the platforms that I use to practice my cybersecurity skills on. And I'm going to jump straight into it because I don't want to waste uh, your time and my time. So first off is, uh, of course, and I'm saying of course because I know that many people use it. So it's Hack the Box. So I know of Hack the Box probably ever almost ever since it started, like in 2017, I guess. Uh, but I only started working uh, like on the boxes there um, last year. So uh, it was 2018, March, sort of like that. Yeah, and uh, I would say that Hack the Box is uh, probably my top at this moment because <laughs> For those who don't know, they actually have vulnerable machines, virtual vulnerable machines, and also challenges where you can uh, sort of like uh, try to break into those machines and actually learn about uh, specific vulnerabilities of uh, the systems. So they have Windows boxes, Linux boxes. I think they also have Android boxes. So it's it's a good it's a good medium to practice your cybersecurity skills on. Uh, so definitely check them out. I usually get a VIP subscription, which is like uh, $15 because uh, there are fewer people on the servers and I get to actually uh, test uh, the vulnerable machines at convenience without actually having to interfere with other users that might delete files uh, on these uh, virtual boxes. Yeah, so definitely check it out uh, if you don't know of it yet. Okay, now along the same lines, uh, another platform is uh, Try Hack Me. So, uh, and of course, I'm going to put a link to all of these in the description so you don't have to like memorize them. Um, yeah, so Try Hack Me, they're kind of new. I think they're 2018 or even 2019. Um, and they're, I would say they're, yeah, so I guess they're 2018. Um, they're really similar to Hack the Box. Uh, there's not much to say here. Just that they have, uh, in my view, they have a very good GUI or graphical user interface. So this is a strong point. And I think this is where they could become really competitive with Hack the Box and maybe, who knows, get even better if they're smart guys. Um, they also have vulnerable machines um, and a totally different ranking system than Hack the Box, as well as a totally different way to create uh, boxes and challenges. Uh, as users because I think on Hack the Box is not as easy and convenient for for a certain user to create uh, a vulnerable machine but over here they kind of emphasize on that so um, I really do like their model I didn't spend too much time on their platform I guess uh, I've only worked there for on the boxes for a couple of days but um, I will do spend more time when they actually have more uh, more boxes in there because they're kind of, uh, I would say, limited in uh, scope at this moment. But anyway, definitely check it out. And the third one, which is, I would say, um, along the same lines with the two, but it's really very, very basic is uh, labs at wizardsecurity.net. So um, I kind of uh, uh, exchanged uh, messages with the creator of, uh, I mean, I think I, yeah, I changed the uh, messages with both the guys at, uh, at Try Hack Me and also uh, those at Wizard Labs. And I think I also discussed to the folks uh, at Hack the Box. So anyway, I digress. Uh, the idea is that the last one, Labs Wizard Security, also has virtual vulnerable boxes. Um, but so it's similar to Hack the Box and uh, Try Hack Me. But the idea is that their uh, interface is really basic 
So it's really, really basic. Uh, it's not as uh, user friendly as the other two, but there's a lot of room for improvement here. So, um, but of course, and yeah, I mean, the basic requirement is met. They actually have vulnerable machines. It works. You connect to their VPN and you start hacking into those boxes. So it's all in there. You don't have to be like uh, super pretentious in terms of uh, user interface, but I like to be. Okay, so yeah, the last one, definitely check it out. Labs at wizardsecurity.net, I guess. Um, yeah, so these are the top three. Hack the box, try hack me, wizard labs. Labs at wizard security, actually. Okay, so um, do you know of other platforms uh, that are similar in scope that I should check out and possibly review? Or do you want to like uh, have a more in-depth review of any of these that I mentioned? Just uh, let me know in the comment sections below and I'll probably do a video on it. Um, and now I want to make a special announcement. So if you checked uh, the link in the description of this video, I want to announce that uh, I'm actually working on a course about Python ethical hacking. So if you go to the link in the description and put your name on that list, you will be the first one to know when the course is out and you will also actually get a mega discount uh, never ever seen discount on the course. So it's actually going to be a, um, a course on ethical hacking and Python and how Python can actually help you, uh, help make your, um, penetration tests and cybersecurity assessments more efficient and effective. So, uh, more, more about it in the description so yeah definitely make sure to check it out okay so that is enough for this video if you guys enjoyed it and if you um, like to stay close make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and um, also be sure to check out for the upcoming videos uh, in uh, the combination of cybersecurity and machine learning and with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.